Well, hello there, my name is Vladimir, welcome to my home studio. Today we're checking out my new live setup. My new live setup consists of a guitar, a pedal board, an amp, two notes to pedal live, and that's about it. Thanks for watching, I shall see you next time. All right, great jokes aside, let's take a look at this setup. Yes, it does consist of a guitar. This thing has been my main weapon of choice for many years now and it still is. And from the guitar we are going into this pedal board which is being basically controlled by this Boss MS3 which is a loop switcher and also contains a bunch of Boss's own effects. And in two of the loops I have the Caline Pure Sky Overdrive and then a Rev G3 pedal and the third loop that this unit has is being used for sending and returning the signal into the effects loop of the Rev Dynamis here. Other stuff that is on the pedal board is a Boss Expression pedal and a Boss FS5U foot switch, which depending on the preset does various things. For example, on this preset it does tap tempo. On one of the presets it allows me to disable or enable wah and the expression pedal as well works differently in different presets. Mostly it serves as a volume pedal, but in one of the presets it's a wah and I don't know, maybe in the future we'll use it for other stuff as well. This funky looking thing here is a breakout box patch bay, however you want to call it. And the basic idea is that when I arrive at a rehearsal space or a gig, uh, I don't need to plug these cables into the MS3 itself because it's a bit inconvenient. Especially with the third loop that serves as the effects loop, send and return to the amp. Uh, these two cables just wouldn't go there, or sorry, these two cables just impossible to plug them in there. And the other thing is that if I accidentally kind of pull one of these cables out, they won't damage this unit. This is pretty easy to fix because it's just a bunch of input jacks I put into a box and covered it with stickers and also Dymo labels so I know what goes where basically. Being the occasional professional I am, uh, all of these cables go into this, I don't know if I can show it to you properly, all of these cables that go to the amp are put through this nice kind of, I don't know, some call it like a cable snake, something like that, it's a snake type of texture and basically again it makes handling the cables easier because there's four cables going into the amp and it's more tidy this way basically as well. Uh, I've had this stuff for many years. I used to have some other amp setup which was using four cable method and I saved it and I am happy that I did because this is just much cleaner setup this way. Let me throw it over there and saves me some time setting everything up. It's also all the cables and stuff on both ends are either labeled or are from different brands. So it's really easy to figure out what goes where when I actually start the setup. I know that the Hosatec cable, shout out to Hosatec for providing me a bunch of cables. They basically rewired all of my studio. Thank you guys, Dylan, you are awesome. And yeah, basically I can immediately tell that, okay, so the preamp send from here goes into the preamp of the amp then the effects send which is labeled effect send means that it's the effects send from the amp and then there's the effects return which means again it's the effects return to the amp and then there's the guitar in which is self explanatory explanatory something like that i think you get the idea as you can see, there's also a MIDI cable running from the MS3 into the Rev Dynamis and this amp is MIDI controllable. And let me see if I can zoom in here. We'll try. Basically, there's quite a lot of stuff that you can program in here. You can program which channel it is using. You can program whether it has a bright switch on or not. Uh, both of the channels have independent reverb level controls. Uh, those are not programmable, but you can decide whether there's any reverb and if there's reverb, there's also three different decay settings on the amp and you can program those, which is nice. Uh, then what else you can program on the drive channel, if we switch to that one, there's this dynamic control, which is basically kind of three different type of gain stages. And not only that, but there's also a contour switch, which makes a kind of I'd say a bit more modern sound. There's a certain 
kind of mid-range scoop happening and basically it kind of changes the focus point of the mid-range, let's put it that way. And all of that is programmable, you can also program whether the effects loop is on or off. Uh, for me it's on on pretty much everything. And I actually do use quite a lot of the built-in reverb because it sounds really good and it's somewhere in the signal chain where it's kind of there but uh, it's kind of around the actual guitar signal for lack of a better term. <laughs> uh, it just works really well, I love it and I even use it on high gain settings sometimes and it's pretty awesome that I can control that via single press of a button over here. Let's go here and change the preset again to preset number one so we get back to the settings I was at. And yeah, so basically I can control everything I really need from this amp and again there will be a demo of this amp separately at some point in the near future but yeah super convenient super programmable and from the amp the signal goes into the two notes torpedo live that i will have to detach from my rack today because i'll be using it at my rehearsal and yeah that's the signal flow slash the setup thing by the way the gig the setup was built for is this kind of special Christmas thing in physically the biggest church in the city I live nearby. Uh, it's a huge church, there will be a pretty big band I'm playing in. There will be like projections on the walls of like Northern Lights and fire and I don't know, all kind of stuff like that. There will be not fire breathers but basically people who do all kinds of tri tricks with fire as well and Basically your regular Sunday church thing, I guess. So yeah, that's what this setup is created for and obviously future live stuff as well. And yeah, just wanted to share that before we move on to the sounds. I think what we'll do next is just listen to some of the sounds I'm getting from this setup uh, or some of the presets I've created because this is a pretty complex amp to go through. This is a really kind of deep thing to go in to what well, that sounds weird but basically there's huge amount of options so let me demonstrate some of the presets I'm using and you can hear what kind of sounds I'm getting and going for basically As you can hear, I still need to practice that line and I don't actually play that line in this song, but it's just for the sake of the demonstration. Thank you. 
This last one is a bit difficult to demonstrate because I would have to use my foot to control the wah while I play this riff. But just picture the wah the thing happening slowly while I'll play this. And then for the chorus I disable the wah by hitting this button, it's programmed to disable wah on this preset and play stuff like this. And then back to the wah thing. You get the idea. So yeah, that's basically my rig. I like it, obviously, because I built it for myself. It sounds really good. It seems to be pretty interference-free, and my studio is a pretty good test of that because there's all kind of funky electricity stuff going on, and especially like this, the amp isn't even on standby. Even if I roll out the volume, there's a slight amount of buzz, but that's about it. So yeah. It's pretty quiet as well, and the fact I love the most is that, that I can press a button and everything switches the amp and all of that. And this is kind of a dream setup for me where I combine kind of analog and digital things, uh, analog amp, analog pedals, but I do use some like comp compression delays and stuff like that from the MS3 itself. And yeah, it's basically a dream rig to me, really. Uh, the M3 isn't the best thing ever to control from this panel over here, but the app it comes with uh, that you can use on your Mac or PC is just brilliant. Uh, it took me no time to learn to use it and set up the exact sounds I wanted. So yeah, it works great and I'm super happy with this thing. And yeah, I don't think there's any other things left to say <laughs> to be honest. So yeah, thanks for watching this video, let me know down in the comments what would be your dream rig because people have really different preferences and that's cool. Let's discuss those in the comments section and links to all the gear you can buy in the description, I think. Uh, the Pure Sky it might be slightly more difficult to find, I think you need, might be able to get it on Amazon, but most of the stuff is available internationally at Thoman. And if you shop in Finland, I always encourage you to go to your local store. If you live in the Tampere area, go to Tampere Music because those guys are just freaking awesome. And yeah, that should be it. Basically, if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as well. And I need to start making these endings shorter or try to, or maybe I won't, I don't know. Thanks for watching this video, I shall see you next time!